Hi everyone, welcome to the next part of the Student Stories Student Ambassador interviews. Um, we've got two of our ambassadors here today who we're just going to talk a little bit about why they chose Brighton and why Brighton's a, a great place to be a student. So thanks for joining us guys, we've got Gemma and Amy here today. So um, just quite a general question I think, uh, first of all. So when you were making your decision about what university you wanted to go to, why did Brighton come up and were you expecting to, to go to Brighton? Did you do research about it or was was it just an accident that you ended up here? Um, Amy, do you want to go first about how you ended up studying with us? Yeah, I did quite a lot of research and obviously my sport and exercise science course is based in Eastbourne. So I had to do a lot of research about Eastbourne as well because I've never really heard much about it before. Um, but when I looked into it, I found out that it quite suited me because it's quite calm and relaxing with a good little student base. But it's also not so far away from Brighton as well. If you want to travel in to like meet some more people or go out and there's a little bit more going on. But yeah. Yeah, great. And I think that's uh, the University of Brighton. We're a campus, um, we're a multi-campus university. So we do have three different campuses in the city. And then we also have um, a campus over in Eastbourne. And it does have quite a community feel, doesn't it, Amy? And, and what facilities have, have they got over there? So you you're, you do sports courses and there's quite a few sports facilities there, aren't there? Yeah, there's quite a lot. We're quite lucky in Eastbourne. So there's a gym called Wardhall Gym, which is brand new. I think it was built two or three years ago. It's like a great big gym with loads of equipment. They train some Olympic athletes in there. And if you're a scholarship student, you're able to train in there. So you get a membership. There's a force platform, which is quite technical. Um, yeah, there's also an environmental heat chamber. So they used it to train athletes when they go to like altitude. So they can set it to like the same as Everest. Or I know they tested a lot of students when they put it to the same temperature that it would be at the Tokyo Olympics. So they wow. did a study about setting this chamber to 40 degrees. And then they made some students do some exercise in it so they could see what it would be like. Yeah. We have a physiology lab as well where they do a lot of tests in. Wow. Yeah. Great. So, yeah, so I think that's, I suppose that's for, for you, that's probably a really important factor, isn't it? If you're going to be doing a course you know, that's, that's specialised in that area, it's really important to have those great facilities. Um, and Amy, just sticking with you for a little bit longer with them, um, because I know you're from London, aren't you? So um, how do you find... Um, Brighton and Eastbourne like are they quite well connected is it easy to kind of get in and out of cities yeah it is. it's obviously quite different to what I was yeah. used to at the start but it was quite a nice change mm -hmm. um, yeah Eastbourne you can just get a train I think it's about 40 minutes into Brighton centre yeah. it's quite a short drive as well but yeah it's good it's a nice little student feel I think it's good to be across different campuses because you're always meeting new people yeah no, definitely. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Amy. Gemma, should we just uh, move over to you for a second? So what? Um, why, why is Brighton attractive to you and why did you decide to come here? Um, I really wanted a, a social experience and I knew that not only was there the Brighton um, Uni there, there's also Sussex Uni and there's like mu music colleges, like it was such a student city. I just knew that I'd always meet new people and I'd, yeah, I'd mix with so many different people. Um, and also I like that, that we have different campuses and on each different campus we have like student unions where it's just where we hang out. Um, you can get food there and you can play like pool or whatever. It was just, I don't know, it was such a social thing. I knew I didn't want to just go to a quiet kind of small uni. I, yeah, I knew that this was what I wanted to do. Yeah, brilliant. And I think that's, yeah, that's a, a really good point you raised there about the community in Brighton. It's quite unique, I'd say. I don't know if you guys agree, but there's, um, you know, there's a real mix of people here and it, it attracts people from all over the, just from all over the country, but all over the world as well. And there's loads of stuff like festivals, isn't there, and Pride and and all of those those big things. So maybe just to finish up then, guys, what... um about perhaps talking about Brighton City itself um, and not just the uni, why, um, why is Brighton so awesome? <laughs> Amy, do you want to go first? Or Eastbourne? <laughs> I just think the atmosphere, it's got quite a nice atmosphere. I remember the first time I came, it's like a positive vibe. Everybody seems friendly, everybody wants to chat, everyone's always sitting on the beach. Yeah, I just think I quite like the atmosphere, which is something that I realised straight away. Yeah, having the beach is a massive pro, especially in the summer, isn't it? It's just so you can chill and hang out. Brilliant. Thanks, Amy. Gemma, any, anything extra that you've got? I, I guess there's just so much to do. There's so many places you can go to with your friends, um, like not only on campus, but there's so many different things to do. I like that it was by the beach. Yeah, you can go there between your lectures. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
No, brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's definitely um, a great and interesting place to be, certainly. So thanks, guys. That's really, uh, really helpful to, give, to have your insights into about why Brighton was a, a, a good choice for you and to find out a little bit more about the city itself. So thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.